What's up, y'all? I'm here to give you all a review of Tyler Perry's newest show, Tyler Perry's Young Dylan, because apparently no one else is going to. Now, already off bat, I don't like the fact that Tyler Perry's name is on this show. I understand Tyler Perry wants to put his name on all his projects, but in all honesty, when your projects aren't really doing that well, you shouldn't want your name in big letters on your project. And plus, it's Tyler Perry's Young Dylan. It just seems weird that Tyler Perry's name is like under a little boy's name, but not even to get too deep in that. Let's talk about this TV show. Now, I heard that this show was made because Ellen had the actual kid. The kid's name is actually Young Dylan. She had him on the show and she got him a show and the director of the show was to be Tyler Perry. She could have found somebody else, but it's okay. It's okay. Let's actually dive into this. Now, the four components I will be talking about with this show is the premise of the show, the acting, the four episodes I decided to watch and the Chicago representation. Now, if you don't know, Young Dylan is actually from Chicago. So, of course, Tyler Perry feels the need to add a little bit of Chicago flavor into the show, where Tyler Perry does not know a bit of shit about Chicago. So, let's talk about the premise of the TV show. Now, this show is recorded like a Tyler Perry TV show, so you you will know it's a Tyler Perry TV show off bet. So, the premise is his mom and dad, who are black, has these two kids, and they go to private school, and they live in the suburb. I forgot what state they're actually in, but they just live in the suburbs. So, the show starts off nice and wholesome. I was having hope for the show. And then, the grandma walks in, who is the son's mom. The dad's mom, I should say. And he's like, hey, mom, why you drop by? You want me to drop by when, you know, something bad happens. And she has her grandson, who is the dad's nephew. So, he asks, hey, why is my nephew here? He was like, oh, his mom left him with me and said she'll be right back and never came back for a month. So, of course, wholesome laughs from the fake crowd, the fake audience. So, the brother is like, what are you hitting around to? So, the grandma was like... I want you to watch him because I can't watch him at the nursing home I'm at. Which is reasonable. But of course, the son doesn't want to take care of his nephew. Because of course, he only has a sister. And the grandma doesn't have any more kids. And doesn't have anyone else to pawn it off to. So, the brother's like, oh, I know my sister. She's coming back. And then the grandma comes out and says... Oh, she's not coming back. And this is exactly what she said verbatim. She's a hippie now, Ma. Come on now. What y'all gonna do? You can take him. He would be happy here. Every Tyler Perry show has to have someone on fucking drugs. And this is a G-rated kid show for Nickelodeon. Not for Nick and Knight. It's on Nickelodeon, and the fact that he just had to sneak in someone being on drugs is really problematic, in my opinion, because that aspect doesn't even have to be in there, because it's like, I know every black show ain't gonna be wholesome and sweet, but you don't have to just be that specific, like... A lot of black shows that were on TV, both, like, kids had their parents and everything, and I know that other shows want to, you know, connect with that other demographic of children that don't have both parents or have to get raised by their grandparent and everything, but you don't have to force that in there. You don't have to force that, you know, he comes from, like, a bad home. And then the, the fact that he is from Chicago in this show, the representation just gets, just gets bad after that. So the most g-rated thing she had to say was that she was a hippie and we all know black people ain't hippies so the only time i found out about a hippie was watching south park and they was at a concert smoking weed so that's the only reason why i know but i know the mom ain't leave for a month to be on weed because you know in a tyler perry show somebody is on some something harder so i'm gonna just assume she on crack but he can't bluntly say that so yeah he decides to keep dylan and dylan is really disrespectful like the actual actor seems cool but the like the the character tyler wrote in the show is just really disrespectful to his auntie and uncle and i don't like that he doesn't want to follow their rules he keeps saying he's from the streets and he wants to do this and do that and he's supposed to be eight in this show but 
at least some kids got enough sense to know when somebody tells you to stop doing some shit, you're going to stop doing it. And for you to just keep disrespecting me and I got to watch you, it's either give him back to his grandma or put him up for, like, give him, just pawn him off to somebody else. So, yeah, the show seemed wholesome. The show seemed fine. The first episode wasn't that bad. It got bad after, like, the second episode where I'm just sitting here like, uh, like, like, a lot of Nickelodeon shows now are cringy, same as Disney Channel. And I don't know if Tyler is trying to, like, meet the cringe factor or not. Because, like, Tyler Perry has some other shows on the OWN network. And they're not bad. So, like, don't try to dumb down to, like, kids and be cringy. Because, like, the stuff with the adults and stuff, that'd be funny. But when the kids start talking, it don't seem that good. Now on to the acting. So, the three adults they're fine acting one of the adults the uh, father he played on the Cosby show and he played on Martin uh the mom was in a few things they said she was in Teen Wolf in this movie called The Replacements and there's not much more I can see from looking at her IMDB page and on Google and the grandma was in Scrubs which was known so yeah all three of them do good now when the parents have to act cringy it's very cringy you know so i'm guessing they're doing it good but the cringe kind of hurts watching now on to the kids i understand these are kids and kids aren't the best actors but i'm gonna call bullshit because there has been a bunch of tv shows with a bunch of good kid actors so they have no excuse tyler perry i appreciate that he like pulls young kids and tries to put them on you know put them on a movie or a tv show but at the same time you gotta make sure they know how to act or like do something like make sure they're good because this is why his shows have low ratings his show and his movies because he may have a good story but tyler perry fucks it up at the end and then the actors aren't doing no good for it either now the daughter she's the type to overact you know the first episode she was over the top acting and she just needed to calm down and just you know regularly act she just was just everywhere just being that sassy daughter that you know you're not gonna like so yeah she overly acts dylan is actually fine like for him for this to be his first time in acting and everything is really i was surprised he he's, he's a good actor you know i like it he a badass kid and it's probably not hard to portray a badass kid but it's cool now the other son I can tell he's never done no type of acting before and it's sad to see because a show is supposed to move smoothly and I understand like recording one scene ain't gonna be perfect all the time but when the boy records his scenes you can tell that they stop the camera record his scene stop it again then try to record what the other actors are saying then stop it and have the boy talk and you can feel the choppiness throughout the recording and for it to be for Tyler to just push it and just try to put put it together like it's flowing well is not good the boy has improved though he really has improved so I'm proud of that but other than that yeah he needs a lot more work now each episode I've only decided to watch four of these episodes because after the fourth episode I was like I can't watch this shit because I'm trying I'm trying, and the fact that I, I've researched it to see if the shows are canceled because they're not showing no new episodes right now, I'm guessing because of the situation that we're in right now. So, I had looked up on Wikipedia and it said that the first episode of the show only got 600,000 views, around 600,000, more than 600,000 actually. And I was like, oh, that's bad. But they say that that's like the best Nickelodeon has had in years. And I'm like, that's so sad like you know i thought it was sad to see that family guy on fox was struggling to get over a hundred million not a hundred million a million people to watch the show same as um same as the simpsons but for this show to only get not even peak at a million and that's the best they've had in years i'm kind of concerned because i'm not saying i want this show to get canceled but it's not it's not good enough to stay on the air that long 
if it gets to season two well congratulations someone's actually watching it because yes i am old i'm about to be 20 and i shouldn't be commenting on kids shows but you know tyler perry implements stuff for the adults in there and i look at a lot of kid shows myself and find them funny like a lot of kid car- a lot of kid cartoons not really nothing of the live action stuff and you know raven's home raven's home is not cringy at all raven's home is actually good and decent and raven simone knows how to entertain children so yeah the first episode was about dylan actually coming just the pilot second episode they had to add dj khaled in the show just because for some reason kids love dj khaled i don't know where dj khaled came from with being like a motivational speaker because you know he'll say his we the best stuff and like preach a lot and you know that's what he does but i don't know i just remember seeing him in nickelodeon commercials sometimes then seeing he hosted the kids choice awards and now tyler perry just like hey since i'm on nick you might as well be on my show with me so he brings them on to the show when I get to see that Kelly was buying the house or something. And I forgot to mention Young Dylan. That's his rapper name. So he's a rapper in this show, which is like, yay. He wants to get signed to DJ Khaled and DJ Khaled was just was going to sign him. But the parents said they didn't feel like he was ready. He needed to go to school. And Dylan was kind of disrespectful, disrespecting their rules. And DJ Khaled was like, hey, you need to stay here and this, this and that. And here's a clip from this horrible episode. his rapping maybe you'll like my dancing oh i don't know if he's gonna like that <laughs> no no this is nice but you should try uh, okay. you know what i'm saying just try yeah this, uh, okay. yeah yeah because i yeah this dj Khaled was the best actor in that episode sadly the third episode i didn't like it because dylan was being more and more disrespectful because it's it's one thing that tyler perry is trying to show like a family without like showing like a black family without showing like the bad blackness because like you know when a kid being bad as hell a black family gonna whoop their ass a black parent will whoop them and put them in their place this guy seems like he doesn't want to do that him or the mom because they're like what i call proper and they don't want to do that but you got to put your kids in check at some point so they were doing this thing called family fun day and dylan didn't want to participate in it and he's like why don't you want to participate in it dylan and he's just he missed the streets and he doesn't like doesn't doesn't like the rules and he packed his bag and was going to go back to live with his grandma but if your grandma said you can't live with her at the place and you want you know your mama to come back where she's not it just just seems like a stereotypical Tyler Perry show so he gets him to stay but it's just Dylan is just disrespect like he's not learning anything from this you know the kids who watching this ain't already learning nothing from this is just showing Dylan being disrespectful and then the fourth episode if I remember it, oh, they tried to enroll Dylan into school and he kept hiding, not wanting to enroll. And then, you know, kind of his bad energy kind of rub, rubbed up on the kids. Like, you know, oh, the whole episode was about snitching. Is that a good message for children? I have no idea. The daughter stole some makeup from her mom's purse because her mom wouldn't let her wear any. Uh, the son didn't really do nothing. The son just was told not to snitch and then Dylan was hiding like the the whole episode was revolving around the daughter actually more so than you know the other two kids but they all got in trouble in the end so those are those four episodes and after that I I didn't want to watch no more the fifth episode was about Dylan trying to protest the school uniforms and it's like dude get your ass to school and just respect rules like he said he was homeschooled all this time and yeah it is illegal for him not to be in school for him to be in chicago all that time and not be in school like uh so last but not least i have to talk about the chicago representation so the chicago representation is just bad and disrespectful to the point where i want to boycott this tv show no i'm not gonna really do that but i'm from chicago I've lived in Chicago for a long time. And one thing Chicago wins don't like is when anyone disrespects their town and just uses, says certain stuff or does certain things that should not be done when you're not really from Chicago, when you're not, I don't know. It's just, his Tyler Perry representation of Chicago is really disrespectful. 
like i didn't even watch the uh spike lee movie chirac just because he called it chirac now was it good i i don't know i haven't looked at the reviews yet i haven't decided to watch it and then i heard nick cannon was in there as like a rapper or whatever so yeah so like i've been saying dylan is from the streets of chicago he's a rapper and the main thing i wanted to talk about is the slang terms because you know dylan was saying like old slang terms that either young people don't know or don't use like he's saying stuff like he was calling he called uh he was saying dog and ma and like dial up and saying sauce like he was just saying a bunch of weird slang terms that aren't from chicago like literally for me being in chicago a few slang words i could think of that we say is merch thought instantly lacking goofy and the list goes on but of course tyler perry doesn't know about any of those because he's not talking to newer chicagoans you just making a representation of chicago just because this boy is from chicago and you don't have to dig that deep with that and then you know the dude the boy was making crimes about the boy was making jokes about the crime in chicago about he's used to being on the street and doing this and doing that like there was one episode where he was trying to sleep and said oh i don't hear any the car starting or carjackings and everything and it's just the fact that you added this into this show disrespecting the city that you probably haven't been at in years and talking to nobody in years like um it's 2020 sir not the early 2000s and even here's a video of some of some of the slang terms he was saying I'm sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, you got another kid. Yo, this house is dope, man. Is that a good thing? Yeah, ma. <laughs> Who's ma? That's the way the streets be talking. <laughs> is this English? School you though. <laughs> what? I've been in there trying to school him, but he on that dollar. <laughs> What are you saying? You know what dial-up is? Back in the day, that's how I used to get my hookup. <clears throat> and then here's another video of them saying suggestive dialogue, I would say. Okay, I'm trying to talk to this kid. Young Dylan, don't worry about him. He's on that sauce. That's what I thought. Okay, first of all, <laughs> Uh, no, no saucing, okay? <laughs> and mom, can we not encourage that? Encourage what? This language. Oh. But anyway, here it goes. When a man and a woman spend a lot of time together, they pollinate each other, like bees do flowers. And how does this happen? Y'all should know that. It comes from French kissing. <laughs> Because this show is TVG, and a lot of, you know, kids sitcoms should be TVPG based on the dialogue. But, you know, the, dia the, the suggestive dialogue is for the parents. But still, like, when you're referring to the dad drinking and saying he on that sauce, I know kids are going to, they're going to get it. And, you know, this whole show, overall, it has potential if they get a different director. Tyler Perry just don't know how to do something right because like i said he'll go in the right direction when it first starts and then towards the end or like towards the middle he flipped the script and do something completely different and kind of ruins his own show so currently this show has a 3.8 out of 10 on imdb and yeah that's what it deserves now i see like websites praising it about it like you know beating the numbers of a Nickelodeon show in years uh, Common Sense gave it a 3 out of 5 so some people are actually watching this so yeah it's not for me but it's just knowing how Tyler Perry is he will sneak in his little bad adult jokes but the one thing I don't like is a Chicago representation like if you're gonna represent you're not even representing it you're just disrespecting it hard as hell and you lucky no actual like real adults are gonna watch this and get disrespected because like i was watching it to see will it be any good and to see that you have a chicago representation in it it's bad and then people keep saying oh this is obviously a fresh prince ripoff 
Because, yeah, if you look at it, he living with his grandma. He let him live with his auntie and uncle and all that. But I never really watched Fresh Prince. But I know, I would think Will Smith's character wasn't disrespectful to his auntie and uncle. Or disobeyed their rules. And if they did, it would be done in a funny way. This kid is just disrespectful. So, yeah. If you haven't watched Young Dylan, I don't recommend it. But if you want to see how Tyler Perry gets down in his first kid show go ahead and watch it but honestly I would rather watch Meet the Browns or you know House of Pain before I sit here and decide to give my attention to this am I happy that Nickelodeon finally has a black show yes they haven't had a black show in a while but this show just isn't the quality black show that we need to represent the black community 